Hello and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. Today we are remastering Hawks Ridge Contemporary, which was a house I built about eight years ago, um, which was well before things like platforms, curved stairs. It's also one of my most downloaded houses on the gallery with 1200 downloads. And that's kind of what it looks like. Here's the original listing. It's still available to this day. So if you really want the original, you can go grab it on my gallery. But I thought this house was deserving of an upgrade, um, especially with platforms. We have new content, new windows. So, um, I definitely wanted to reimagine this house. So as far as the house structure itself, it remained exactly the same on the exterior. Nothing really changed a whole lot. The interiors where things have changed quite a bit. Um, I shuffle this bathroom upstairs in the hallway over towards the front to make room for a nice um, new staircase that goes up to the second floor. And then I also added a platform and shifted where the kitchen was because originally the kitchen was like Basically, as soon as you walk through the front door, there was like a kitchen and an island and then like the dining room table was sat down below on the lower level. So it was just a very weird house and I thought it definitely could use some improvement as far as layout. So I am experimenting with how to do the steps here, but um, I do come back and change that a little bit because I just don't like that platform and plus I noticed a weird glitch where railings didn't show up when you were using like a platform to connect the stairs they were like glitching out so we do come back and make this much much better um, so yeah as far as the overall style um, I kind of used modern but also uh, a lot of horse ranch content as you can obviously tell I also used the new home chef hustle uh, stuff pack uh, for the kitchen and appliances and I think it's really nice this red color is just something different um, I wanted to use it I kind of want to use some of the other colors like the like light green or the sage color uh, in a build at some point but I really really want to do something different with the kitchen and I thought it was great having this platform here where you know you can have the kitchen and the dining room together it actually makes a lot more sense compared to the original build so it's it, it also looks a lot nicer I think because in the earlier times the content was actually really good but like I feel like over time and some of the more recent items are like way way nicer to use nowadays as opposed to some of the older things i don't know they're just like higher quality they look clearer um the amount of clutter we have has increased so you have things like plates and mugs and everything to add so uh there's just you know so much to do with it and it's just it's great how it turned out i'm really happy with it um, this is where the house is built in willow creek so um, it's on a 30 by 20 lot um, and I used a variety of different packs. I think the original only used something like four packs, but I used way more for this renovation, obviously, because, you know, it needed more content and more things to make it look prettier uh, for today's standards and today's content. So uh, we do have this nice red accent wall, which I thought kind of tied in well with the kitchen cabinetry. Uh, and I changed up the stone on the inside. That's also a horse ranch stone. Uh, the fireplace, I believe, is Eco Living, and I use the um, picture frame TV, which is from the Modern Lux kit. Uh, I think that's my favorite. It's a TV disguised as a picture frame. I really wish we could have more like that. It's just so nice to have such like a thin profile and be on the wall as well. Um, I also make the couch and chairs uh, red to tie in with the red kitchen. It just feels very cohesive. Uh, and very nice. So I'm just really happy with how this main living space turned out. Definitely a great house. Definitely a great upgrade. Um, I also want to say that behind the front door, which we'll get to, I used the new uh, shelving from the um, Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. And I created like this bookcase or area to like drop things i used a mixture of like dream home decorator cabinets and kind of stacked them together and then had open shelves above and i think this looks really cool um put some clutter around just to make it look lived in and like a very neat little nook to kind of decorate it up a bit and it's it's like a nice little focal point kind of tucked away i thought about putting like 
a first floor like powder room there, but then I thought no. So on this main floor, we do not have a powder room, which is actually something unusual for me because usually I do have like a, you know, a toilet or a sink at least on the first floor. So your Sims don't have to go all the way upstairs. But in this case, not so much. But there is an improvement upstairs where I moved the one hallway back to make room for the stairs. So basically, as soon as you go up the steps, there's a bathroom, a full bathroom. So uh, which is accessible from the hallway. So it just it just works. It's close by, but not like right on the main floor. So yeah, this rug, I'm not sure where that rug came from either underneath the dining room table, but that is like a very cool swatch. It comes in like a variety of different uh, colors. And I just thought this like red, orangey, I don't know. It's just so like geometric and everything. Like it just fit so well with the overall theme and the vibe I was going with. So we continue the red accent wall upstairs and continue the trend of horse ranch windows, though the smaller ones, at least on the front of the house, because the original build had like smaller windows towards the front of the house anyway. And then off to the side, um, like the master, for example, I put some of the larger horse ranch windows and on the one bedroom in the back there too, just to kind of capture some of the side street. So very nice build um right across from the goths so some of these houses um i don't know just in my building save they're not like renovated or anything i don't usually build in those areas i mean i probably will at some point but that's why you're seeing older houses but that's where this house is built so yeah uh, we do some wooden accent walls in the master bath and the master bedroom. And there's also a functional closet now in the master, which originally there was not. But we used Dream Home Decorator to make an actual like functional walk-in closet, uh, which is very nice. I also shuffled the toilet in the master bath towards the center. Uh, I felt like it made more sense and gave a little bit of division to the bathroom where you could have the shower on the one side, sinks, and then the tub on the other rather than the way I had it originally. Um, it's just some improvements to the flow, I think, uh, is kind of what I was going for. And then the one bedroom up here, uh, off to the one side, like where the staircase is over there, that, that big bedroom there, was a home gym. I took that out and I decided to make it a full on bedroom. Uh, so I felt like it was better used as a bedroom and, you know, gives you a bit more um, capacity for Sims and, and playing versus having a home gym. But if you really do want a home gym or a nursery, you can easily convert that bedroom into something else. Um, I just thought, you know, more bedrooms and beds, the better, because that's what makes a great playable house and everybody can basically call it home, if you will. Um, so yeah, we're almost finished with the master bedroom up here. Um, I also used the Modern Lux kit for the furnishings around the master, some Dream Home Decorator for the master bath. Uh, in this hallway bath here, I used um, Growing Together, the shower tub combo, because that fit very well, and the Growing Together sinks, both in the master and the hallway bath. They're just very nice sinks to use, and I like how they go well with the shower tub combo and the color styles there. So very functional, very nice looking overall. I also found this really nice stone tile that came with the Home Chef Hustle Kit, which I swapped out all of the tile that was originally in all the bathrooms, and then I decided to make the platform area where the kitchen and the dining room is downstairs also tile. Uh, originally that was spa day tile. So I guess while I used more packs, some of the other packs that I originally used for this build, like get to work or spa day actually fell off because I was no longer using content from those packs. So if you don't have some of those earlier packs, but you have most of the later ones, you're pretty good there. I also made use of a bunk bed in this bedroom, which was formerly the home gym. Um, so I thought that was nice throw a dresser underneath the bunk bed. I think that came together like that. Uh, I kind of felt like I wanted the desk to be separate anyway. So it was kind of nice to have that kind of tucked out of the way, but also still accessible and functional. We do a small little seating area. I had another window on this one side because I felt like that corner was very dark. Um, even though I added this nice like neon heart light, it just still kind of felt like dark. So the window was just a nice touch. Uh, I also used the Modern Lux area rug, which I felt fit with the overall theme, which was like a very soft pink. Uh, it could really be for anyone, a kid, 
teenager, adult, whomever, um, if you wanted to change out the swatches, it's very easy to do using the design tool. And you could basically have a bedroom for anyone. So I thought the soft pink was nice. So I did use the Modern Lux curtains here in this bedroom, but at the end, when I was taking screenshots for the build, I realized that those curtains are actually sticking through the floor on the first floor, which I was like, whoops, oops, I forgot about that. Those curtains have a tendency to do that if you don't put them high enough on the wall. Um, so just be careful of that. You may have to like shimmy up the curtains a bit because I had already shared it to the gallery by the time I realized that was an issue. Um, I didn't notice it at first until I was tabbing my way through uh, taking the screenshots. So in this other bedroom over here, or the blue bedroom, um, I kind of changed up the layout because originally I had like a single bed and it was off on the one wall, but I thought it made more sense on the back wall. Still have the desk tucked into that little alcove there. Um, but again, newer desk, newer computers, nice widescreen computer. I believe that was from um, high school years where they introduced those like streaming computers. And I used some of the growing together um, little like decorations up top of the like wardrobe there. So it's very nice little room. I think this is probably one of my favorites or at least second favorite room out of this house. Uh, next to like the main living space like this one is probably like I don't know it just seems so like cozy and the blue is like it's not like calming but it's also not like overwhelming either it's just very like neutral and chill I guess it's a very cool room you have the windows on the corner bringing in lots of natural light and very cool room uh, definitely decorated it up compared to the original um, and it's nice to have some of the newer content and uh, decor throughout the house. I feel like it just makes the house that much more like special, I guess. So um, as far as the cost of the house, it didn't really increase too much. Um, I think the original was around 78000 And then when I shared this to the gallery, it was also 78000 maybe slightly cheaper. But then when you factor in like the lot cost, I think it goes up to just a little bit like 83000 simoleons. So again, not too bad. Um, as far as the exterior, like I said, most of the shape stayed the same. I just changed out the siding. I used some uh, growing together wooden siding instead of like using something from Horse Ranch. Um, and I used Horse Ranch stone, which was the same stone on the um, interior, like the fireplace and some of the accent walls. Um, I used that on the other half of the house, which replaced like the concrete tiling. So definitely gives this house a different look, but a more like modern updated look compared to the original but, but i think both are still like great houses as far as the rear patio area i did keep uh the potted planters where you can plant vegetables and and other things um, i also kept the table i just changed the color swatch from white to a darker color uh, I do use a new barbecue grill which came from the desert Lux kit and i used some desert Lux kit um furnishings instead of I believe that was like perfect patio stuff furniture I don't know it looked like that wicker stuff before it's still nice stuff but it's nice to have some of the newer stuff so kind of swap it out and put some loungers instead uh, landscaping I also changed that up quite a bit made it feel a bit more like natural and it blends in much better with Willow Creek I think back at the time when I built this house I wasn't really too familiar with the debug catalog and like getting the world decorations and trees and objects and stuff. So now that I am, I tend to gravitate more towards that because when I build a house, I want it to fit in with its surroundings or the lot that I build it on. I mean, you don't have to use it here. It could go in any lot in Willow Creek and would probably still fit. I think it's just important that I use the landscaping from the road. So that way, if you're using it in a different part, It'll still fit if you're, you know, choose a 30 by 20 lot, you know, somewhere on the other side of Willow Creek. Um, so I can now say that this house has three bedrooms without the home gym as well. I forgot to mention that uh, earlier since taking out the home gym. Um, before it was only two bedrooms. So when I was like sharing it to the gallery, I was like, wait, this says two bedrooms, but I have three. And then I was like, oh, right, the home gym. I did, couldn't count it as a bedroom because it was a home gym. So it's it's a great balance of three beds, three baths. So can't go wrong there. Three baths. Oh, yeah, there is three baths. Uh, upstairs uh, by the top of the steps, the master, and then the one hallway bath or 
or the bathroom off of the one bedroom, which was formerly the home gym. So yeah, that's right. Three bathrooms. Can't believe I forget that already. Um, but yeah, just finishing up the landscaping here and kind of mixing in some shrubbery and bushes, um, which ties in great with Willow Creek. It was kind of hard to find some of the items. Uh, there are a lot, like they're just basically like scattered all over kind of. So um, yeah, like the ones that I was using originally, I had to go find again. Um, but maybe I should get the um, Better Build by mod by Twisted Mexi back. So that way I can have like favorites of debug items, which I think is cool. That's something new that he just recently added to the mod. And I think I might take advantage of that because then I could just favorite things that I frequently use out of the debug catalog rather than going through the whole like mess of things and objects and, and world objects that I don't necessarily use because they're so ginormous, but um, it just would be nice to kind of have your favorite things in a list and you can easily find them rather than me spending like enormous amounts of time trying to find and cycle through the different items again. But anyway, we're now into the screenshots. So you can find Hawks Ridge uh, 2023 remaster on The Sims 4 Gallery. My EA ID is the Simified. Um, you can also find the original Hawks Ridge contemporary build on my gallery page as well if you want to compare them side by side or if you prefer the old one to the new one, but I don't know why you would. I, I think I prefer the new one much better. It's just nice to have the staircase there and uh, the new furnishings and the decor. It just it just feels so much more like a full, like great playable house. Uh, flow is greatly improved on the living space as well. It just makes more sense. I can't believe I didn't set it up that way. It's kind of interesting going back on a house and like something that you built like eight years ago and then like, hmm, why did I do that? Like, why didn't I do it this way? But I don't really know, you know? I don't know why. I just did it at that time. So, uh, but now I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm just better at it and thinking about how things should flow and go together, or it was just something that I didn't really think about back then, but now I kind of do as far as how your Sims are going to play and move around in the house. So, I don't know. Just interesting. But I do hope you enjoyed this speed build. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, we're going to do a couple more renovations, I think, of some older builds on my channel because I'm just having so much fun. So do look out for those. Make sure to subscribe to get those. But I do thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.